the clock hits midnight and as a woman's birthday begins, she steps out on the front porch for some air. Less than one hour later, police say she was shot and killed. Good evening, I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Vicki Yates. Letha Hayes was not the intended target, just an innocent bystander. The people who shot her have not been caught. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs is live in the studio. And Kelsey, this is a tremendous loss to her community. Absolutely, Vicki. You can see just how much Letha meant to her family, friends, and neighbors. These balloons and flowers should be to celebrate what was her birthday. Instead, it was to memorialize her life. I don't wish that on nobody. I don't wish that on nobody's family. It's, 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 it's a total tragic, you know. We gotta stop the gun violence. A neighborhood is in mourning after losing one of their own. Still heard about it and still in shock, but you know, it's, it's a tragic, man. It's a tragic how she lost her life. Demarcus Wilson says Letha Hayes was a mother to the community here at the Casey Place Apartments. She was always around to offer a good laugh and a friendly hello. Innocent people are dying for no reason. You know, it's just, and it's just so crazy. This lady was literally loved. She was loved, man. Loved by everybody. You see what they did for her within, within a day and a half or so. Letha's birthday was Saturday, and instead of celebrating, they are grieving. She was shot and killed less than an hour into her 53rd birthday. She was sitting on her porch, minding her own business. It was her birthday, it just turned to her birthday. She didn't even get to spend a good hour until her birthday, a few hours until her birthday, before this lady, get, before this lady got called home. The investigation shows that Letha was an innocent victim who was hit by gunfire after people riding in an SUV opened fire on two men nearby. She died at the scene. The gun violence got to stop. Somehow, some way, it's got to stop. Somebody knows something, somebody needs to stand up and say something. Wilson is calling on the people responsible to come forward. We all got to stand up for something. So somebody knows something, somebody needs to say something. Because this lady right here, man, just lost her life for, for nonsense. Nonsense. She didn't deserve this. She did not deserve this. And police tell us later that morning a man showed up at the hospital with a gunshot wound to his shoulder. Police think he was one of the intended targets, but he wouldn't cooperate with investigators. If you know any information about this case, call Crime Stoppers, Rory.